I'm Pink. And I'm Maya. And I'm Lil' Kim. And I'm Christina. And I'm Missy Elliott. And I'm Nicole Kidman. And I'm Ewan McGregor. And I'm Buzz Lerman. And I'm Jennifer Garner. And I'm Jennifer Aniston. And I'm Jennifer Lopez. And I'm Emily Leonard. <laughs> the fuck is Emily Leonard? <laughs> Call this number. <laughs> Emily Leonard. It's a girl that I worked with. <laughs> <laughs> She's not even being at No. So I'm a senior in high school, and I have fallen helplessly in like with the freshmen. I know she feels the same way, because there's this crazy sexual tension between us, and we flirt all the time. But I'm torn between feeling like a creeper and feeling like I should just go for it. Um, so I would love your semi-qualified opinions on the matter. Thanks. Bye. I don't see the problem. I know that the world tells you there's a fucking problem, but yeah. like I personally don't see the problem, and I think the only reason that we think there's a problem is because it's everywhere that, like, you're supposed to not, like, people under the age of blank. I mean, the bottom it's line is that you're worried about it because the world is like, oh, that's creepy. You like somebody that's, that's 14, 15, but, like, you're not that far away from that age. Obviously, you guys have a connection, yeah. and it's fucking fine. I think it's fine. She thinks it's fine. Now, you know, if the girl is crazy and she fucking decides to be crazy, yeah, she has a reason that she could fucking take you to court. That's the only scary part. Yeah. That's the world's fuck up, though. That's not yours, and I wouldn't suggest that you don't go after it it's, because of that. The thing is, this, like so many other situations in the world, isn't here's a law and here's the reason you should follow it. It's fucking, like, case by case. You can't just say no one over this age should date anyone under this age. I mean, you no, know what I, I mean? Agree. I know, I know that I think your only concern is that you feel like a creeper, so we've already thrown yeah, that so out the fucking window. don't feel like a creeper. Don't feel like a creeper, you're not a creeper. It's fucking yeah, fine. Yeah, it's really whatever. If you have this girl, she's my ex-girlfriend, and we don't talk anymore, we're just not on speaking terms. But I know that her boyfriend is cheating on her, her current boyfriend. So do I go out of my way to let her know that I know he's cheating on her? Oh, he's cheating on her with my other friend. Or do I just let her find out on her own? I only have one ex-girlfriend that I don't speak to, and if I knew the person she was dating was cheating on her, I wouldn't say a word. Me either. But she sounds like she wants to tell her. I know. She called. And so, does she want to tell her because, A, she wants to watch her suffer. Oh. And she's a bitch. So, there's a possibility. There's a possibility that bitches call us, right? okay? That's true. We think everybody's lovely, but... So, either she's sort of a bitch and she wants to see her ex-girlfriend be upset, or she still loves her and she's hoping that she'll come back to her if she finds out whoever is cheating on her from her. Does well, yeah, they both make sense. And if either of those are the reasons that you want to tell her, then don't tell her. Yeah. If either if the, if the reason that you want to tell her is because you have a big heart and you feel bad and you feel like she should know and you feel like if you were in her position you would want somebody to tell you, then maybe tell her. No. Still don't tell no, her. No. Is there any way we can do role playing on this one? Oh, yeah. Okay. Some fucking bitches need something to entertain them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ring. Ring. Why is Bridget calling me? Ring. Voicemail. Ring. Oh, hey, I know this is totally weird, but um, I just, I wanted to tell you something that, okay, this is fucking weird. I'm really sorry. Uh, you don't have to call me back. Bye. Why did Bridget call? Oh, there's a voicemail. Delete. I don't want to talk to her. Wow. Your ex is a fucking bitch. <laughs> you know your boyfriend? Yeah, I know him pretty well. Well, I'm, um, I'm pretty sure that he's cheating on you. Whatever. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> still a bitch. Your ex is still a bitch. Ring, ring. Hello? Oh, hey. Um, this is Bridget. <laughs> oh, God. Hello? Are you okay? Brad is cheating on me. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm so sorry. I, um... Olivia said you knew. I was I was just calling to talk to you about that. I, I'm I sorry. I don't trust I, you anymore. You didn't trust me to begin Click. with. <laughs> She's still a bitch. Okay, so I think what we found is that regardless of what you do or why you do it, you shouldn't tell her.
good. Danielle's just a bitch. Okay, wait, try again. Does your ex work long hours as a barista? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah! I'm so tired with my body!